who needs, you don't need Hinge if you've got TikTok. Why do I only have four of these pens? How many months of summer are left? Um, I was at the mid, but I was just sitting in the car. Do I, Australians think Americans are idiots? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Sorry. Nothing personal at all. Um, I don't remember what I was saying though. Sorry. Would you want to live anywhere else? Do you mean in Australia or in the world? I would like to, but not forever. I think that I'd want to live in, like I'd want to raise a family in Australia, but I would love to live somewhere for a short time, like a year or so. Hi Gabs. My favorite place in Australia, either Fruitologist Bondi Road or Adelaide. I actually really love Adelaide and I hate that I'm saying that. I'm well, thank you, Gabs. How are you? Nothing. Do Australians... Have you ever been to where? Yeah, I only speak English. I've never been to Europe, no. One day, just... Just not yet. These are my favourite pens. I actually don't like the name Isabel. All love to you. I feel like I can say that because my name's Isabel. But I don't like the name Isabel. Maybe I would if... My parents have just never called me anything but Isabel. Like, I've never gotten Is, Izzy, Bell. Whereas all the other Isabels that I know don't go by Isabel. Um, but... You win some, you lose most. Do you know the action? No. I'm not doing a video of me lifting Mitch on my shoulders. Why do I have so many pens? Because I like to colour in my spare time. What's the worst place in Australia? Probably like Canberra or the yeah, Northern Territory maybe. I've never been to either of those places, so I'm just being... There are not a lot of spiders. Like, we have spiders, but... Canberra is only <laughs> Cribbins Spilt Milk is on. Oh, I beg to differ. Um, we have spiders, but... I don't know. There's no spiders in here that I can see. Going to the Gold Coast to study abroad. Are you going to Bond? I feel like Gold Coast is such a random place to study abroad. I know um, Chloe Whipple. I feel like only thing in Canberra is Questacon. Hi, Ella. Um, I don't remember what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Chloe Whipple. She's an American girl on TikTok. She's from Maine. But she did a year abroad in... Gold Coast or maybe six months um, and I think she really enjoyed it she came with her boyfriend though so <sighs> Goldie studying abroad is legit how people say they're gonna they're going there to become a TikTok influencer really I haven't heard that the boys have gone riding their bikes Everyone from Scandinavia goes to Gold Coast or Brisbane to study abroad. Mm. Don't go to Brisbane. That's probably the last place I'd want to go. What time is it for you? 9.34. I've posted the name of my lash lady before. Um... God, that wigged me out. In my highlights, it'll be somewhere in there. Her name, her Instagram is Love and Light Beauty. She's in 
um, she's like in Brisbane but pretty far out so not always the most convenient but I've never found someone that does my lashes like her so no there aren't loads of spiders in houses Mitch and Cooper are riding their fixie bags that they got yesterday. And I'm not going to the Aeros tour. Shah, thank you. I feel like shit. Yeah, there's spiders everywhere and they especially go after the tourists. Anyone who you ask that could be pretty true. Okay, here are my pens. I wonder what color this is. What part of Australia are you from? Well, I was born in Brisbane. Can you all get dressed with me? I used to do them a lot when I was just at home on my own. But. I, I'm sorry, I haven't seen your question. Which and I have been together for nearly six months, actually. Which is wild. Hi, Naya and Kate. Okay. This is like a candy jar. Why do you like coloring? I honestly have no idea. But I fucking live for it. I friggin' live for it. Do you live with Mitch? No, not technically. But we don't spend much time apart. I am gonna start um, YouTube, I promise. How do you feel about long distance? Well, even when I'd met Mitch, I remember the first time he stayed over, we went and watched The Crows in Brizzy with Mia and we were staying at Mia's place and I remember telling him that night yeah I could never do long distance and he said he just like rolled over that night and was like well I'm gonna go get a flight home he didn't but I didn't I didn't want to do long distance Mia and I did long distance obviously it's different when it's a friend but essentially we did long distance for quite a few years and I just, I'm not good on my phone. I'm a bad communicator over, message, over text. And so I was like, I just, you know, I'm not dating someone and just not talking to them. Like, what's the point of that? Um, so I was pretty against it, but I obviously came around to the idea. We got, I was, I was too far. I was too deep. I couldn't, couldn't back out now basically but yeah if it's the right person you'll make it what 100% 100% we always talk about that I think when you know you know and I that always confused me because I've never really been in a relationship like I think something anything before 15 shouldn't count and doesn't count and so I was always like, well, how do you know? I was convinced that I would be single for the rest of my life and that if I ever got married, I was like, I'd want I'd want separate bed a separate bedroom for my husband. And now I'm like, I want to be as close as possible to Mitch at all times. And you know, you know. Um, can you show me outside? Well, no. How long do you think you'll be with him? Till we're food for the worms to eat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Love you, Noah. 
I think bring Mitch to Sydney with you next weekend. Wait, how did you know I was going to Sydney? I'm lost on that. I'm actually not going to Sydney next weekend though. But I am going to Sydney um, in the next two weeks. Oh, okay. Char. Sh Char. Charlie. Do you say Char if it's Charlie or Char? Anyway, Charlie. We were going to go to Sydney next week. Mitch and Coop were going to take me. Um, but then we realised that Taylor Swift and Mardi Gras were on Char. Yeah. We realised that... I was on that you said don't cry too. Don't cry. Um, yeah, when we realised that Taylor Swift and Mardi Gras were on. Because I started looking for accommodation. I'm like, why the fuck is there not a single Airbnb in Surrey Hills available? Um... And the only things that were available were like seven grand for four or five nights. Like that's, I wasn't going to be paying that. So anyway, Mitch's dad taught us, yeah, Mardi Gras and Taylor Swift are on. And we were like, that's why it's going to be fucking packed next week. But we're going to, we're just going to go the week after. I'm sorry, Char, I would have, we'll come to Perth one day. Give us time and we will. Are you not in school? Like, in class?